Hi everyone, let's have a quick chat about The Seventh Bride by T. Kingfisher. I have to start this off with a disclaimer. I went out looking for something else, but I got a really, really good book. What do I mean by that? I was basically in the mood for some light, fluffy read with flirty banter and some witty dialogue. And I know T. Kingfisher can do that, but she doesn't do that in this book. The Seventh Bride is a book with some random magic and a miller's daughter who's 15 years old who finds herself all of a sudden engaged to a very old lord and she cannot really explain how that happened why he wants to marry her and then one day he says you have to come to my house and she finds that creepy as well and it is creepy and a lot more creepy things are happening at the house there's magic there are riddles and mysteries and we have a very very good strong female lead. Now this book is very well written. I really like T. Kingfisher's writing. She has a way of giving you characters that you immediately like, some fantasy elements that she weaves into her stories, although this is full fantasy we have to admit that. There's magic, there is some talking animals or rather not talking but really opinionated animals and also other things. So what I really liked about this book was how we see this 15 year old Miller's daughter, a peasant, who has to basically do what the Lord wants. And she's really not wanting to do that, but she always knows there's no way out. And I liked how this was presented, that for a Lord to ask to marry a peasant, that's perfectly normal and there is no way to say no. This was a very clear concept in the book that it was always mentioned. You really don't have a choice. What do you expect people to do? Say no when the Lord comes and says, I want to marry you? And I really enjoyed that because that's usually ignored, how little choice the peasants have when we talk about stories like this, which are usually happy and fairy tales. This is not a fairy tale. It does have a happy ending of sorts, but not the ever after that you might think of now. So even though I didn't get my flirty witty romance, I got strong characters, I got a good story, I got adventures and I got to see how the main character has to deal with the situation, find a way out of it and really survives at the end on top of things. So if you like fantasy, are looking for a quick read because this is just a little over 200 pages and strong female characters, I can highly recommend this to you. I enjoyed it, although it not being what I wanted. Sometimes that's just what we need. Let me know in comments if you have read The Seventh Bride, what you thought of it and think